Today we're going to do a 30 minute dumbbell arm workout to build muscle and strength. You can do this as a follow along with me using just one pair of dumbbells. I'm going to use a 10 kilo pair, that's 22 pounds each, but just use whatever's right for you. First up though, we're going to warm up the wrists, elbows and shoulders with a quick bodyweight warm up. So we've got four warm-up exercises. We're gonna do 30 seconds each. We're gonna link one straight into the other without any transition time, but I'll pop up a little preview of what you're gonna do next. We're gonna start warming the wrists up by doing 15 seconds circling one way and then 15 seconds circling back. So nice big circles, maximizing the range of motion in your wrists. making sure we get all the joints warmed up before this strength workout and change direction coming back the other way. Next we're going into a upper body mobility sequence. Just follow along with me and you'll get it. So hands behind your head, open up into a Y shape, round your back, close your elbows off, pull them back again, Back to that Y shape, hands behind your head, close your elbows. Open the elbows, Y shape, angel wings round behind your back, relax the elbows forwards, pull them back, angel wing to the top, behind your head, close them off. Okay, hands down like this, curl up, pronate, down, supinate, up, and repeat. Spread your fingers out, opening out those hands. Try and get maximum rotation. This is called supination, when your hands are forwards like this, and then pronating over. Nice and simple. Reach one over, one under. We're gonna alternate. We're gonna do this for two rounds, so we'll run through those once more. Don't worry if you can't reach and touch behind your back. I definitely can't at the moment. That's still a good warm up for the shoulders. So let's repeat those one more time through and then we'll get into the main workout. Today we're gonna be supersetting bicep and tricep exercises and change direction. Got one forearm exercise in there as well. Get ready for that mobility sequence. So hands behind your head, open out into a Y, angel wing round behind your back, close it off. Pull the shoulder blades back, angel wing back to the Y, hands behind the head, close it off. Don't worry if you're struggling, as long as you're moving your shoulders around. Good for opening out the posture muscles of the upper back. Okay, I'm going for those curls, so curl up, pronate, down. Really maximize that rotation as much as you can. We're going to be doing a similar exercise to start off the routine, obviously with the dumbbells in your hands. Finally, finish with those over-unders. Reaching up and over, getting as close as you can to touch in. All right, so grab your pair of dumbbells. I'm gonna use 10 kilo dumbbells, so that's 22 pounds each. You're gonna to need to be able to do some bicep curls and some skull crushers with it, so pick a weight that's appropriate. For about 40 seconds of that, so we're gonna do four exercises in this section. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, 
for three rounds. We'll have a half time little rest and then we'll repeat the same format, but with different exercises in the second strength section. But first up, we're gonna do some Zotman curls. So we're gonna curl up, you're gonna go into that pronated position and then lower in a reverse curl. You'll reset at the bottom. So we're gonna curl up, pronate, slowly control down, reset palms forwards and repeat. It'll be really tempting to flare the elbows out when you pronate. So try and keep those elbows tucked into the sides, especially when we're in this position here. Lowering of control. Always finish your wrap, don't worry too much about the clock. Okay, make your way onto the floor. We're gonna do a skull crusher, but we're actually gonna do a variation, an isometric hold at the halfway point. And we're actually just gonna alternate arms. So if you lower down to halfway, pause there, and then you're gonna alternate extensions. You could pause in where your forearms are about, parallel to the floor, maybe a 90 degree angle at the elbow. And then you're going to alternate extensions. It's tough when you're in this constant time under tension with this isometric hold, making it a bit more challenging so you don't need Heavy weights, really, for this. Well done. Back to your feet. Go back to another bicep, bicep exercise called hammer curls. So similar to a bicep curl, but you're gonna maintain a neutral grip throughout the whole of the movement. So there's no twist. I want you to squeeze your biceps at the top. Make sure you're lowering of control. The lowering eccentric phase is just as important for growing muscle as the concentric effort phase on the way up. So make sure you're not skipping out half of your rep. take one dumbbell. I'm going to do it kneeling down, but you can do this standing up. I'm just doing it so I fit into the camera shot. We're going to do a behind head tricep extension, nice and low behind your head with one dumbbell. So drop in down. I like to just gently tap my back somewhere between my shoulder blades with the dumbbell and extend up to the top. Try not to let your elbows flare out too wide. Avoid any excessive arching of the lower back. Tense your triceps at the top. Great job. Okay, so you've got a 30 second brief rest, and then we're gonna go into round two of three total rounds within this first strength section. So we'll be starting back with those Zotman curls. So curl up. Pronate, reverse curl on the way down. Okay, 
keep those elbows tucked in on that reverse curl as you lower. Great job. This one was tough last time. Got those isometric holds at halfway, doing alternating extensions to the top. So lower to halfway. Let's go. So we've got 90 degree angle at the elbow. Forearms about parallel with the floor. Extending, squeezing the tricep at the top. Getting hard on this. Oh, it's difficult. Got that hammer curl. So maintaining a neutral grip. We're working a muscle called your brachioradialis. Runs down here. Squeezing at the top, trying to maintain control on the way down. So those tricep extensions overhead. I like to make like a J shape with both hands, wrap it round and then my fingers can wrap round one end of the dumbbell. Dropping nice and low behind, maybe making contact with your upper back and then extending fully to straight, avoiding any flaring of the elbows. Okay, there's two down, one round to go, and then we'll be using the same dumbbells, but going on to new exercises. It's already getting more tricky in that round. This is definitely gonna be a tough final third round on these. Zotman curl. Right onto the mat for those isometric hold alternating extensions. For me, this is the hardest exercise out of these. 
holding that isometric is pretty brutal. Get ready for the hammer curls. to the overhead extension. All right, you've learned a minute off now. Let the arms recover a bit. And then we're gonna do the same format. We're gonna use the same weights. Uh, we're gonna do 40 on, 20 off. Four new exercises for three rounds. Be supersetting back and forth between some bicep, tricep, and one forearm exercise. If you're enjoying working out with me, and you fancy doing a whole series, I have got a dedicated dumbbell series called the dumbbell lift series which is 30 30 minute workouts over six weeks but you can check it out in my channel's playlist so if you do want a structure to follow at six weeks uh, check out the dumbbell lift series you'll see the playlist i'll link it in the description of this video as well let's get you started with these in and out curls so we're gonna curl to the center down and then curl outside of the body and then back to the center i'm going to alternate when you curl outside keep your elbows tucked in still so we're going internally rotated curl and then an externally rotated curl All right, lying back on the mat. I'm gonna do a similar exercise. I'm gonna do just a classic skull crusher. So similar to the first section, but this time you're just gonna do a full range of motion right down, bringing the dumbbells next to your ears, extending them both together. So you should be coming a little bit lower this time. Extending together, minimizing the movement of your arm between your shoulder and your elbow. Just working on that hinge action. Again, making sure the elbows don't flare out too wide.
I'd say generally they're a little bit easier in the ISO hold. So that's why we're doing it later in the workout when you're tired. Okay, we're gonna do just a classic alternating bicep curl. Starting a neutral grip at your sides. We're gonna twist towards the top. So a nice big twist. Focusing on squeezing the bicep hard. And then you don't have to lower too slow, but definitely controlling the lowering phase. Accentuate that nice big rotation as you curl. The bicep doesn't just flex the elbow, it also rotates around like that. Okay, we're gonna hit a little forearm exercise now. Get them burning. We're gonna do some forearm rocks. So we're gonna hold the dumbbells out to our sides slightly. And we're gonna do some extension flexions. So if you extend up and then flex under, extend up, flex under, and you're gonna hold the extension for a second, hold the flexion. Make sure you're really trying to hold that extension, knuckles nice and high, and then flexing under. All right. Let the forearms relax for 30 seconds. And then we're going again with those in out curls. Arms feeling pumped up now. I always think a good test for when your arms are nice and pumped is, can you touch your shoulders anymore? You just about touch them, so still got a couple more rounds to go. We'll test again at the end. So going in out curls, internally rotated, externally rotated. Feeling heavier this round. <laughs> Onto the mat for those skull crushers. Onto those nice strict alternating curls, accentuating that rotation at the top.
getting ready for those forearm rocks. So we're really looking to extend nice and high with the knuckles and then curling under. Stick with me, we've got one more round of those four exercises to go and then that'll be the workout complete. Arms definitely feeling more pumped up now. So we've got those in-out curls. If you're enjoying this workout, I've got loads more. So I've got that dumbbell lift series, all dumbbell workouts. And I've also got a playlist of just all of my dumbbell workouts. I've got a lot of people say, oh, I wish you'd make more of this or that kind of workout. And a lot of the time I have got them. You've just got to search for them in the playlist because it might have been uploaded a year ago, six months ago. So have a look for my channel. If you're enjoying it and you want to come back as a regular, make sure you subscribe. It's good for me to stay in contact that way. I use my community tab a lot to get feedback from you about what kind of workouts you like. All right, one set to go. Get those forearms burning.
All right, that's the workout complete. Well done, hopefully your arms pumped up. Uh, if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments and also let me know where in the world you're following along from. I really do love to hear that. Here's day one of that lift series, if you fancy giving that a go. And here's a quick cool down stretch. If you've got five minutes and you want to do a cool down, I'll see you again soon for another workout.